What's up guys, this is Heiss, and once again we are doing a little bit of a Tom Scott ripoff, only slightly. This time though, we will be playing two of these people are lying, because they will be. That's what he says, right? Something like that? Mm. Anyways. That's legally distinct. Enough. Legally yeah, distinct. Legally. Hopefully. Sorry, I didn't say it in a rather nice British accent. For legal Tom, purposes, if you're watching this, this is a joke. For, for the, yeah. <laughs> this is Tom, a joke. if you're watching this, A, Y, B, sorry. And see, hey, do you want to come over and film some train stuff with us? Yeah, G or send Gary. Gary likes trains. Yeah. yeah. Or Anyways. can we go to the UK? Or yeah, or can we come film trains with Gary over there? Anyways, mm. joining me today, he builds ridiculous Lego trains. It's Brett Weebold. He likes to off-road in locomotives, Leighton Moreland. And together, the three of us make three quarters of one idiot, and we're, yeah, we're three, yeah. Three quarters of one idiot, and we're in search of our fourth, and we are again joined by Eric Roche. He was fabulous last that time. That was fantastic. That was, that was good. I want another one. I've been can, can we? Ooh. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, hey, this... when, when we do our cocktail episode, can we call this three quarters in search of a fifth? Them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we can do that. <laughs> Anyways, the, uh, the special thing for, I don't know, there's no answers and well I guess there's answers for me, whatever. The thing that happens when people be stupid on this show is Mystery Citrus! Yeah, we need there. a sound bite for that. Yeah, we do. Anyways, so the way this game works is that two of these people will be lying. These three gents, they've each written down one railroad thing that they think that I don't know about, which to some of you probably sounds outstanding and like, what, Heist doesn't know about things? It I know. <laughs> oh. uh, it turns out I don't know a lot about a lot of railroad things, particularly about railroad history and particularly about things from across the pond. And these two gents particularly are very fond of British locomotives. We truly really have a strong word, oh. but... Well, he is. You're right. We truly really have no lives. It's very true. Mm. So they've written down a topic, and I'm going to read the topic when I pick one. And then all three of them are going to have to convince me that the, whatever is on the card is what they know about. So two of them will be lying and one of them will be telling the truth. The goal for these folks is to convince me that they're correct, whether they're lying or not. And the goal for me is to find who isn't lying. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, we'll, we'll do a thing. And I, I, I actually genuinely don't know what their handwriting looks like because we're all engineering idiots and it's all probably crappy it's all, block. It's all horrid. It's all horrid block lettering, all caps. Italicized tenders. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Throwbacks. RGS. I did Never again. Let's see. Who didn't? The Ridgeway Goat. The Ridgeway Goat. Ridgeway Goat. Um, I'm presuming that that's probably RGS Ridgeway and, and Goats. So, um, Eric, what's the Ridgeway Goat? So the Ridgeway Goat was a goat that was kept around the town of Ridgeway, but was very fond among the Ridgeway Railroaders. Okay. <laughs> Brett, Ridgeway Goat? The pet of Arthur Ridgeway. The pet of Arthur Ridgeway. I don't have a, a note of, I'm not as cool as Tom, so I'm gonna try and waitress it and remember it all. I'm not that. Oh, okay. Well, when I would, we look, I'm official now. We have paper and pen. And we uh, have I still technology. Don't, I still don't want to use it. Okay. Wow. Leighton, <laughs> the Ridgeway goat. It was a specially trained goat used to get sheep <laughs> into stock cars that was paid in chewing tobacco. Okay. It was on staff on the RGS. <laughs> As we learned in the last episode, the RGS is made up of nothing other than bullshit and malarkey. Uh. Well, that so we that, know is true. <laughs> so th th that's certainly a possibility. Well, do we need sheep on our lap to be petting during this episode for the goats? <laughs> well, yeah. Let's take five. Go get a sheep. Show, show us the sheep. Show, show the viewers what a sheep is. This is actually some learning time, children. We try to provide education amidst the nonsense. Yes, this is actually some uh, knowledgeable bullshit. This is what we call a sheep. You can tell that by the way that it is. It does look like a sheep, and I'm pretty sure they actually, the only reason we really call it a sheep is because of Fred. Love you, Fred. I, no, I've but heard other people call it. Other like people have called it? I guess yeah, they do look like a sheep. sheep. It does look like a sheep. <laughs> <Doesn't it laughs> <laughs> what is it, Leighton? Explain to the viewers. So this, as I'm sure you'll do, I'll sure you'll do uh, Journal Bearings 101 <laughs> at, at some, some point. point, because that's clearly what the viewers are wanting. This is a journal bearing pad, so there's actually a bunch of foam in here. Oh, and, 844! Oh, 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 I hold this and I just want to restore it and run it on the main line. We are in the 
Anyway, so uh, inside your journal box, you have the axle for, this is for plane bearings, and uh, which you'll understand some of you foamers may call them friction bearings. Insert you'll footage here. Insert something, something footage there. You call them friction bearings, you're wrong, and you're just a, a pawn of Timken. What? I was doing that at the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not doing it me. No, you're correct. They are pawns of Tim. They're pawns of the table. Plebeian susceptible to Timkin copper. Uh, propaganda. Propaganda. Thank that you. One. Propaganda. Hey. That's the word. Yeah. So uh, when you have a plain bearing journal, this or so back in the day it would be oily rags um, or waste, which is just really just a bunch of thread and yarn. What a waste. Um, what a freaking waste. <laughs> Thing of limes. You didn't hit bread. You limed the limes. <laughs> you got one from everyone on that one. He deserved that. And you've got you've got a bit of lime right there. Oh, do I? <laughs> you got oh, a bit of flesh in, in your whiskers. In your whiskers. <laughs> All right. Getting back to the original point. This is actually soaked with oil, and this just rides up against the bottom of the axle, and the axle picks up oil, and that's how lubrication is maintained. It is a greasy sheep. It is a greasy sheep. <laughs> you gotta oil your sheep before you stick it in. <laughs> Squeeze it. Well, actually, yeah, you do. I mean, you do. <laughs> no! You're squeezing it too much. It's in pain now. Stop! It's, ah! Wy it's Wyoming Simulator 2022. <laughs> uh, anyway. Keep it up and you'll get the grease machete. Ooh. Anyway. So, Jane, hopefully that was enough time for you to stall, <laughs> children. Yes. Eric. Yeah. Tell me more. It was... A, a goat that was the friend of the people of Ridgeway. Of Ridgeway, yes, but it was never actually named, thus getting its name the Ridgeway Goat, which is why it was just so called the Ridgeway Goat. What a missed opportunity. They, they didn't name it? Yeah. They didn't name it. It was just known as the Ridgeway Goat because no one knew who owned it because it just showed up one day. Nobody just went, hey, kid. <laughs> is, is anyone going <laughs> to no. take advantage of it? I'm crumpling up the card over that <laughs> one, but I'm not throwing a line. <laughs> no. Okay. Goat that just showed up one day. Yeah. Okay. And and it be became friends. Did, friends. did it do anything to become friends with the people of the town? It was just friendly and seemed okay with people and roamed around the town. It's just, just the goat about the town. All right. Did it okay. eat all the kids' homework? Probably. <laughs> As we should. I mean, this is 1935. <laughs> did, the kids did they have the homework RGS, so in Ridgeway? <laughs> did they have educational institutions? <laughs> Probably. Presumably. Our numbers, distinguished school marm. Here's how you drink liquor and then lay the railroad, son. <laughs> like, then operate afterwards. Yes. On. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brett. Yes. Arthur Ridgway's goat? Yes. Arthur Ridgway. Former superintendent of the Denver and Rio Grande. It wasn't the Western at that point. Oh. He's the one that came up with the... Ridgeway Sparky thing because he was on the CNS for a time. He's the one that is credited with drag flangers, is he not? Really? I believe so. I, I think know. so. I, I believe he's the one that created drag flangers. Which Weird are the flex, special. but okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, he's the guy. Um, a goat that he rescued from a snowstorm, brought it into his business car when the train was stuck in a storm one night, and the crew called <laughs> it... <laughs> The crew felt weird calling it Arthur Goat after him because using his first name was obviously improper. Okay. So instead, his name became Ridgeway, Ridgeway Goat. Goat, and he was promptly returned to his owners when the snow was no longer a thing. Very interesting. That's a fairly plausible story. That is the goal of the game. Layton. Yeah, like, yes, yes. You are playing the game. Congratulations. Layton. The goat that the railroad employed? So, employed might be a bit of a stretch of that term. He wasn't These employment rules, a bit more like guidelines. Well, he didn't have a 1099. I mean, Social Security wasn't a big deal then. I don't even know if can file cheapskate. Child labor. <laughs> Can't employ kids. Uh, <laughs> okay, then. That's like a little fender joke right there. What are you doing? Well, the fruit's right there. Well, I'm the fruit, but okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you said that not Mark. Damn it. <laughs> we broke oh, this. Out goes the beer. Okay, so the story of the Ridgeway goat, sheep are stupid. Okay. Like, sheep are really, really stupid. Sean the sheep has lied to you. One, one could say they need shepherding. It could be said Wake that Wake up, they... sheep! Yeah. Also that. <laughs> okay, Alex Jones. Um, Start of the frogs, gang! <laughs> the friggin' frogs! And the switches! The boiler <laughs> treatment turns the frogs gay! Do you, do you know what happens when the switches get gay? You can't go straight! You can only diverge! 
So what's a three-way switch set in this context? Whoa! <laughs> Hang on now! <laughs> uh, I, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think we stumbled across the real answer of what they did for fun in Fridgeway. <laughs> Oh my. Oh okay, my. so getting back to the goat, sheep are stupid. And apparently, I don't know if it was like these sheep specifically or sheep in general. My family comes partially from Wyoming where we shoot sheep ranchers because cattle, sheep, you that don't know that? seems kind of cruel. Well, no, the, the sheep, they eat the grass different than the cows. The cows, they just chomp the top of it off, but the sheep, they will actually like pull the grass up by its roots so it will not grow know back. that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, the things thing. you learn yeah, the with things Leighton Moreland. Yeah, yeah. Don't order a lamb chop in Cheyenne. Um, <laughs> anywho, so getting back to the original point of the conversation here, uh, concerning the goat of the Ridgeway, the break mark again. <laughs> when did was... Sarah Palin get here? <laughs> oh, you betcha. We go helicopter hunting for geese outside her, for goats for outside of Ridgeway. <laughs> Well, we go helicopter hunting for geese outside of Ridgeway, too. What, what is It's Sarah Pitt. Oh, oh, God! God. <laughs> She's got a gun! <laughs> okay, so, sheep are stupid. Yeah. Very, very stupid. And they had a hard time getting the sheep into the cars. And the, the way that sheep dogs work is they don't lead them, they chase them. And they couldn't get... But sheep are good at playing follow the leader, but dogs don't play follow the leader. So, they found a goat that was, like, really smart. Somehow, like, smart enough to figure out how to come back out of the f***ing slaughter car. Smart enough to not be eating the labels off of tin cans. <laughs> I mean, hey man. So, home on the range. <laughs> anywho, so uh, they had a goat that was, like, technically owned by the company, but I think it was just somebody's, like, pet <laughs> the rest of the year, that they uh, paid in chewing tobacco, and it would lead, it would lead sheep into the car, because they can play follow the leader, then it was smart enough to get out. And that was how they would load the sheep in Ridgeway. And I shit you not, at the Ridgeway Railroad Museum, there are receipts marked chewing tobacco for goat. <laughs> Wait, so they didn't name it either? I don't know if it had a name. I thought it was just, you know, okay. If you're the guy, like, being like, okay, we gotta, look, gotta go load sheep today. Are you gonna go, we gotta get Roy. We're, no, you're gonna go, we gotta get that sheep. Goat. 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 Yeah. Right. Well, the five, well, bring me the, that's for bring in the goat. The five people that live in Ridgeway aren't that smart or bright, so I couldn't think of a name, so I just kept bring going. Bring him the goat. <laughs> so, so yeah, we have two nameless goats and yes. one named goat okay. to choose from. <laughs> Layton's got this very interesting story where either he knows a lot about goats. <laughs> Clearly he knows a thing or two about sheep. And sheep. Which we'll put a pin in that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a story about me and sheep? <laughs> I want to hear it, John. <laughs> So either Leighton knows a lot of things about sheep and goat, and he's just trying to interject uh, some spice in there, or something else is going, or or it's correct. Eric, I think I'm gonna rule you out first because yes. it feels there's not enough details. It's just the the goat that showed up. It, it was well played, but I, the, the stories here are more in depth. So maybe it's that simple, and I'm just pandering to idiots, which. As we know. I mean, that's our job description here. I guess. Yes, we know that. I one quarter of one idiot, thank you. But I'm, I'm coming to Brett, and I picked up on the one thing you said, where you said it was Arthur Ridgway, and he was the one that invented the Ridgway from the CNS. And I don't know if it was, maybe that was his first name and Harry was his second, but I know the man who made the Ridgway as Harry Ridgway, not Arthur Ridgway, so I'm going to choose to believe me and not you. Hmm. So I think it's Leighton. It is in fact a true story. There was a fuck- <laughs> They paid a f goat? In chewing tobacco, yes. If you watched the last episode where we talked about all of the Rio Grande Southernisms. It's par for the course. I feel so like that's a link to it somewhere <laughs> link, We'll put a link or, or yeah, we'll put the uh, link thing. thing. Or there, or the, there. Yeah. Or here. <laughs> yeah. Here we are too. Thank you, John. Seven! Seven! <laughs> oh. Okay, um, so Leighton's gotta get another thing, and I can't see what it is, and I didn't see what the other two are. So, the Ridgeway Goat, point to me. And point to Hang Leighton. Hang on. Point to me and point to Leighton. And, um, I'll, I'm gonna run over here. And we will be back in a moment. Give me, give me a thing. Give it a thing. Not looking. These love Shouldn't we, like, retrieve the limes? 
Oh, yeah, there are limes. <laughs> yeah. God, there are a lot of limes Also, right shouldn't here. we move Peaches back inside? At some point. We can do that when we're done with the second one of these. It's still filling with water, so, you know. Yeah. That is what it is. The limes are becoming more of a punishment as we go because they're progressively <laughs> getting, getting covered in more floor shit. Why do you think I switched the Coors? We're ready for you, Mark. Okay. Ah, oh. Somebody go wash off your lime. Oh. Ooh. Just sounds nasty. Snake farm. Oh, the GoPro just powered off. Oh, did it? Your yeah. GoPro just died. It, go it powered off? Yeah. This one just said powering off. Why did it do that? The camera's too hot. How is the camera too... How are you too hot? Okay, go put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. It's like, I don't want to charge. Let's, let's throw the cameras in the fridge and we'll put peaches inside. Yeah. Getting toasty, okay. Apparently, the uh, DigiPower big cases, nice for extra battery, but if it's hot, um... Insulator. Yeah, fishbowl cam. Fishbowl. Coming soon to a railroad near you. Cameras and fishbowls. And look, now there are two trains. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. It now says Denver. Uh, we've we've cut. We finished. I figured out the goat. I've got a point. Layton's got a point. There's now another steam engine inside because. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um. Oh. Because, well, yeah, we're getting it ready. <laughs> Three quarters of an idiot. Okay. He does kind of fit in. I it mean, well. it, it does work. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, one point to me, one point late, and then we've got to pick another thing. So I'm going to just do the little shuffle of roo here. And, uh, watch out! Hot shot! Hot shot! Hot shot? Hot shot. Hot shot. The hot shot. I picked ladies. on Eric. <laughs> I picked on Eric the first time. The Camp Town ladies over there. The Camp Town ladies. What is hot shot? What is hot shot? What is hot shot? He's stalling, ladies. What? <laughs> what? What can one say about what hot shot? What can one say about it? There's so much you could say about hot shot. How can you narrow that, it down? That thing you just said. <laughs> I know so much about it. <laughs> it just. Clayton's <laughs> rolled out. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, um, uh, hot shot was the um, the name given to this one outfit of the U.S. Army Transportation Corps during the Second World War that... <coughs> what? We have to go to a second shot there just so you can see us simultaneously <laughs> turn to exchange No, 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 it was a thing. You've heard of the, the Red Ball Express? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the Berlin, Red... yeah, Berlin Express, all that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the rail equivalent after they finished how the Germans redecorate things um, in the French railway network. They um, had something called the Hot Shot Express. It was a uh, express well, war supplies train that ran from uh, Cherbourg to uh, where the front lines were. We gave him too much time to stall, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Brett, what is yes. hot shot? This is railroad slang for a fire service train. I, yeah, that sounds very that, reasonable. That is, that is what it is. Eric. Hot shot is a railroad, 19th century railroad slang term for a train that has high priority over everything else, thus making it a hot shot train. This is a real hot shot, this guy. <laughs> this, this oh, wait, no, it's, he's a real hot shot, this guy. <laughs> well, you see him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this whole time, I read this card, and I'm going to be like, all right, it's whoever talks about the diesel at the Durango and Silverton. I got this. And then none of you did. And now I'm bamboozled. <laughs> Heckin' boozled. Heckin' boozled. Heckin boozled. <laughs> I would just like okay. to give the three of us a round of applause. A round of well applause. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Late needed a little time, but he pulled something together. Hey, um, you know. Okay, so we have <laughs> U.S. Army Corps of Engineers run train that's very high priority yeah. thing. We have very similar hot like train that has priority over any other priority, and then fire engine train. Yes. Expand upon the U.S. Army. Tell us more details. The U.S. Army? No, not just. <laughs> Don't tell me about Colonel no, Frank. No. Tell me about the damn train. It's a lot of people. They march. They shoot. They shoot. They, they sit. They have wings. wings. They train. They have huge boats. Very big guns. Boats. Big <laughs> gun boats. That's the Navy. <laughs> they have the boats. Oh. 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 Yeah. Although fun fact, Army had, the U.S. Army has more boats than the U.S. Navy. This is true. Yep. Rubber dinghies add up a lot quicker than warships. 
That, that was my nickname in high school. Rubber, rubber dingy. dingy. Rubber dingy. <laughs> are you serious? Are you I thought serious? you were gonna say warship. I went for rubber dingy as a joke. <laughs> what was oh, your right. nickname in high school? Warship. What about yours? Rubber dingy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I get really big when you pull the cord from my back. <laughs> D is for Disney. Oh, no, explain for about Disney. the hotshot. Army passenger trains. No, no, no. It was uh, wasn't army passenger trains. It was army material. Supp trains. Supplies trains. Yeah, supplies yeah. trains. So yeah, the the schmucks they can like ride on top or wherever. Yeah, no. Uh, obviously, logistics huge concern during wartime and. Um, just because of the sheer amount of redecorating uh, that had been done by the U.S. Army Air Corps, the British Royal Air Force, and the Luftwaffe, um, most of France looked like Swiss cheese slash popcorn. But in um, yeah, I'm you couldn't not, have even come up with a more like French, you know, stinky cheese. It does. <laughs> well, the thing is, you look at the stinky cheese. You look at the baked brie. You pull it apart. It's smooth. You put a little bit of jam in the middle. You get the you get the nice crispy bread. You get it up. It's so nice. Like, I'm hungry. And a nice Bordeaux wine, some grapes. Great. Now go ask the tongue for the second time. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. No. Just called the Hot Shot Express because. It had priority over everything, and of course, it's the Second World War, they have to come up with dumb names for everything. Or badass names. Okay. Or both. Luftwaffe. Or okay. totally badass names. Firefighting trains. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was just the name for if you got stuck on hotshot duty. Typically, your day would look like sitting around with a locomotive at some, like, base of the mountain roundhouse intermediate station somewhere, waiting for the call of, oh, f the mountainside is on fire, come quickly. And that's just what it was. You, if you get called out on it, you're on the hot shot. Okay. And train that has priority over any other train. Yeah, and we don't hear it anymore because it was only 19th century railroad slang term. It would be there goes the hot shot, and it was the train that had the highest priority on the rail line. Why was it phased out? Do you know? No. So, I want to rule Eric out again, not because I'm picking on you, but because. <laughs> Of all of the 19th century, 18th, what, not 18th century, 19th and 20th century railroad slang that is out there, we used like all of it. We, have, so valid we haven't had a hype, a ball signal for how long? And highball is still day to day. There are still things with bad words in their titles for parts of steam locomotives yep. that we can't say yep. rather than the actual names yeah not if we ever want to work again yep not if we ever want to work again sorry youtube you don't get to know that one i feel like hot shot would have either it's so generic that it wasn't really slang or it 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 would be weird that it phased out so i'm gonna rule you out so it's between did Brett... you get ruled out first last time he did oh, so yep. he just said he's not picking wow. i'm not so... picking on him oh but I'm left between you. Your explanation was very frank, and it felt like a very Brett explanation, which is either very good acting or true. And Leighton's explanation was very rambling. Leighton took a minute to get there, <laughs> but I know that he just got a book on the USRA and has a whole thing about this and, and that era. And so he might be replacing another thing with, with this term and or just making something up and wanting to... It, throw knowledge at us because that's what he does and 10 percent of the time i look like i'm drowning in air anyways well well i wasn't gonna say it <laughs> so i think it's brett no piss so now viewers he gets to guess of the two people that he just said are most definitely wrong which one is actually right so it's either, that was good acting on brett Thank you. <laughs> so either it's latent twice and and he is accurate about this, or I've just been mean to Eric for no reason, and it really was that simple, and it actually is a term. Yeah, that was, wave was so sad. I'm I'm gonna go with Eric because I don't believe it's Leighton twice. Yep. Yeah. It was just that simple. It was hot it was That's one. still a term. I, I, I was in fact full of shit. No. <laughs> one is that. <laughs> hey, Hang on, show, show your eyes. Show your eyes to the camera. Yep. Yep. Brown, yep, so yep, full sold, of shit, they're sold, brown. Yep. Mm -hmm. So a hot shot is, is by definition a fast, long distance train given priority on the track over other trains. It was so generic that you guys just got me down the foamer rabbit hole. Yep. I only well, said fire train because that's what they used hot shot for on the on DNS. The DNS. <laughs> I know! I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, that makes sense because that's what they use hot shot we for. We backed off the same thing. Yeah, okay. we did. My, yeah. my first impulse was to say the engine on the DNS, and then I'm like, shit, I don't want to steal that from Eric. I, I would have 
<laughs> well, it, but that's the thing is it came up and it's like, oh crap, now we have to lie. So I can't say huh. it's the diesel or it's a high priority train. I have to come up with some other thing that Hot Shot is. Yeah. No, what would make this interesting then is, is just still say it and then kind of debate between who has the more correct. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the simplicity wins apparently here. So we sit. Eric gets a point for... No, he doesn't get a point. I get a point. Brett gets a point for deceiving me. Mm. Eric does not get a point because I didn't pick his... But he deserves an apology. But he deserves an apology. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric. I'll get you know you, how we're ripping I'll Tom's get you some off. broccoli. <laughs> Eat your broccoli, Eat your, Eat your broccoli, Eric! 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 Ah! Yep. <clears throat> yeah, we have problems. It's fine. A lot, yes. Uh, so that's a, a three-way tie, except Eric doesn't get any points, so... Womp, womp. Uh, well, womp, womp. that's... Uh, We've proven that we are, in fact, three quarters of one, one idiot. idiot. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> oh. We've got all the points, ladies and gents, in an idiot's game. And on that terrible disappointment. That's I, the end of the video. That is the end of the video. Bye! Bye!